In this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the small differences between echo and print. We're gonna take a look at how echo can use multiple parameters. Although this is very rare, it does happen. We'll reference the php.net documentation and we'll provide a small example for each. The key thing to remember is that both are used to output data to the screen. This will be a short one, but it'll be an important concept to understand. Once again, guys, be sure to stick around for the entirety of the video as I give most of my insights towards the end of the lesson. All right, with that being said, let's jump in. If you were following along closely, you may have noticed that I used print in the first example and then I used echo in the example below. The reason for this, I want to just clear up some things between print and echo. I want you to notice that echo has this word void at the end of the expression. So that means that it doesn't return a value. And I'll explain that in a moment. And also notice that echo also has a shorthand. It could be written just like this instead of using the word echo. So in our code editor, if I tried to write something like this, you'll notice that something happens here. So this tag here is actually closing the PHP tag above here. And we don't want that. So in order to use that, we'll have to close this tag before we use this. Okay, let's remove this shorthand and I want to show you a few more things. Depending on the code base, you may see echo sometimes being written like this. Because it's a language construct, you don't necessarily need to have the open and closing bracket. We can just remove them and this is still valid. The other thing is echo can have multiple arguments. And what I mean by arguments is when we echo out a string or anything that has a value, we could do something like this and this will still work out. So we can have the as of being the first argument and then this year being the second argument. Then we could have the variable being the third argument and give it another argument like this. And then let's just remove this line up here or we'll remove this. All right, let's jump back out to our browser and we'll refresh. We do have some spacing issues here, but let's just correct that. As of this year, 2022, PHP language is 28 years old. And the original print C up here is just printing that 28 value. So that's one of the differences between echo and print. Hey guys, what's up? Kevin here. I just want to give a big shout out to my subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Be sure to give the videos a like, a thumbs up, and start a conversation. Much appreciated. Now let's get back to the video. Echo can have multiple arguments separated by a comma. Echo doesn't return a value, right? It doesn't return anything except for the actual value that you put inside of the quotes. So if you were to write something like this, and then we close that with a semicolon, and we say echo world, and we close that with a semicolon. So what's interesting is lines 13 and 14 will give us a combined output of hello world. The last thing really is echo is slightly a little bit faster than print. So let me show you something around print. Print can only have one argument. So if I was to print something like hello, and then I tried to use the comma and put another value like world, you notice that right away I get a parse syntax error, unexpected token comma, where it's expecting the semicolon. Print can't have more than one argument. Print is happy with that. If we type in print again and I go world, print will also echo this on the same line. If we were to check that out in the browser, we'll see that we have hello world and we have the 28, which is defined above here for this value. And if we check the documentation, you will see that print has a return type of int, an integer value, so it returns a value of one, unlike echo, which returns void. I won't get too far into that, but just note that it says like print always returns a value of one, and it can be used in the context of an expression. And you'll figure that out as we evolve a little bit more with PHP in the series. So those are some of the major differences between print and echo. 